baseball fans, and welcome. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the New York Yankees and the Detroit Tigers. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Javier Baez. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the hill in this one, Casey Mines. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Siggy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. And he's doing tremendous out there on the mound. Every time he gets the ball, you expect him to go out there and dominate. And that's what he's been to this point. We'll see how he is today. Okay, all set to go. And now here is Oswald Peraza. The pitch. That one misses, and we're underway. That's in there, and that's strike one. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitch. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. And this is a dangerous group, Chris. Top to bottom, loaded with guys who can barrel up the baseball. A lot of high exit velocities. And that all results in a club that's leading the league in slugging percentage right now. And, Boo, that, that means the pitcher's got to be ready from the very first pitch of each and every at bat because these guys, they're ready to jump all over you. And they've got the swing speed, the velocity through the zone, however you want to measure it, to hit the ball hard and hit it a long way. There's no question this is a lineup that is built to win in today's modern game of baseball. There's the strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Kicks and fires. Swings through that. Well, he looks to have some quality stuff on the hill today. Start this outing out. Pepper in the zone. Arm is loose and firing him in there. Next offering is foul back. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. The one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does, and you're tied up. Two down, nobody on. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. Just one of those at bats you almost hate to see come to an end. Fastball pretty much middle middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. So man aboard, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Glaber Torres. Two hits in the game last night. Foul back our way, and that's out of play.
Out towards right center field. And there's a hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And the throw's offline, safe at third. He obviously put a very nice swing on that pitch and really drove it towards the gap, but I'm pretty surprised he only ended up on first right there. And it's kind of hard to say if there was some hesitation or if they just decided to play it safe. And here is Oswaldo Cabrera. And that one fouled off. Corners are occupied with two down. In the air, left field, Maton gets under it. Brings it in for the third out. Yanks nothing. Tigers coming to bat. Back after this on the show. Welcome back. And Aaron Boone going with the right-hander, Luis Severino. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Severino and a swing and a miss Luis Severino when healthy he is one of the top pitchers in the American League when he's going good he's getting ahead in the count I love that his mechanics are very simple very repeatable delivery Cesar Hernandez up to the plate two hits for him in yesterday's game that's in there Strike one. Severino, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, a cutter, and he works in a two-seamer. That clips a corner. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Ground ball up the middle, and it's through for a hit. That is good. The third baseman. And now it's Jonathan Scope. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. First pitch, and he just misses. Swung on, belted. That's back. And that is gone. Jonathan Scope takes him deep. His 11th of the year, it's 2-0. No, Boo, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead... Batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Eric Haas, the next to hit, takes outside. Hard ground ball, base knock. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now it's Javier Baez. That misses the zone. 1-0. and guy's seen two change-ups in a row could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here Severino kicks deals and yeah, that's outside and now two and two 
Still only one out here in the inning. And there's a ball. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after that not getting it. the call. He probably no, should have gotten it. Didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. And here is Matt Veerling. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. At the belt and fires. There's a strike. Veerling checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And he went around. That's ruled to swing. Haas off of first with two away. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back at Comerica Park, second inning set to go. Here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And here it comes. That one missed. The 1 0. And that's downstairs and outside. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter, because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength, so... You're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Jake Bauer stepping in now for the Yankees. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit <laughs> that's great left hand hitter waits and that one missing low Now he breaks his bat. Makes the catch for the out. The left fielder, Isaiah Kiner. Two outs, bases empty. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Three for nine of the series coming in. And takes low for ball one. There's a strike. The wind of the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. Line drive, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Man at first, and stepping in for the Yankees, Billy McKinney. Mines checks over to first, and he's back.
All one there. And the 1 0. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. That one was ticketed for the gap, but couldn't get through security. Great job there of leaping, making the catch, and ending the inning. Ready to go for the last Lead half of the up. inning. And five. here's the first baseman, the first Spencer base Torkelson. Spencer. The pitch. Torkelson. Sneaks through, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty Batting hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Nick Maton in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Down the left field line. Should be extra bases. Torkelson around second, headed for third. And he's got a double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Riley Green. Two for nine so far in the series. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The pitch. Swings through that one. He was really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for now using the entire the field. Just couldn't sit back long yeah. enough on that one. But two. And next to hit for Detroit, Akil Badu. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals. Good eye in that spot. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. Elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. And with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Torkelson, the runner at third. Maton at second with two gone. Next offering is down low. And the count even one and one. Righty delivers. And that one is lifted in the air. Power under this one. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Tigers strand a pair, but they're on top 2 nothing. All set for the start of the lead inning. Off. Here's the Yankees' leadoff hitter, Oswald Peraza. Peraza. Mize back to work. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Veerling drops steps, heads back on it. Got it! Nice grab. And a quick out number one. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Two 
Judge rips that one. And there's two away. Now back the first base is Anthony. And here is Anthony Rizzo. One for one with a single so far. Rizzo goes six feet, three inches, hitting third in the lineup. And he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. Strike two. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. That one misses. Now one and two. And a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The one, two. High fly ball out towards left field. Back there. Adios, pelota. His 44th home run of the season, and they cut into the lead. It's 2-1. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Here's Glaber Torres. On the ground to short. Fires across the diamond. And that is that. The Yanks do get one on the solo homer. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. Now here is Jonathan Scope. He's already homered in this one. Go. The wind of the pitch. Scope getting to start at the hot corner. A member of the 1,000 hit club. And he's a native of Curacao. Righty to the plate. Up the middle. Tosses to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. The catcher, number 13. Aaron. Eric Haas up now for the Tigers. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Pitch misses there. Ball one. And the right hater deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive. And all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is. And that's what leads to the strikeout. Now the 0-1. They say it went. Severino with another strikeout. Tigers fail to make any noise as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. He's 0 for 1. Casey Mize played his college ball at Auburn, and he was the number one overall draft pick in 2018. And while at Auburn, 
He was named an All-American twice and a finalist for the Golden Spikes Award. Here comes a pitch. I'll never forget that first start in the big leagues made a strong impression for the Tigers in 2020. He became the first pitcher since Steven Strasburg to strike out seven batters and walk none. Not bad at all for your first big league start. And a ball in two strikes. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and they don't get the out. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Kyle Higashioka stepping in now for the Yankees. There's a strike. with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here swings through it and that's a strikeout well classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out that fastball on the pitch before was up it was very competitive and that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder but then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact and up next for New York, Jake Bauer. Inside just missed. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. ripped into the outfield no trouble here puts it away for the out out number two here's the left fielder Isaiah Kiner Falefa and first offering is fouled off Out towards left center. Maton sizes this one up. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. The Yanks lead one and they trail it here two to one. Stepping in Matt Leading Veerling. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And a pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And a swing and a miss. Just a little too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. The 0 2. Bounced up the middle. Peraza. And he beats the throw very close right there. Singy, it looked like he might have beat it in real time, but that play was really close, so they want to take another look. Yeah, this is a tough decision to make, Boog, and it feels like it could go either way, but it might be worth the challenge if there's any. Well, they are going to challenge the call, and so now the decision will be made by the umpires at the replay center back in New York. Another look at it. Singer, are you seeing enough to change the call? Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, it's close, but I think after looking at it a few times, we can see that this guy's probably out and could be a good use of the challenge right here. 
Looks like we've got an answer, and he's out. They took a chance with the challenge, and it paid off for him. So up next, Spencer Torkelson. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Slider clips the corner. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. And he won around. Ruled a swing. The left Next to hit, Nick Maton. Doubled in his first debut. And ball one. It's softly on the ground to third. Throw on to Rizzo. And that is the inning. Down in order go the Tigers. They lead it 2-1. Here's Billy McKinney at the plate. 0 for 1 so far. And the pitch. Just missed. And a bunt towards third. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Kicks and deals. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And it's off the wall. Here's the throw. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. So close to driving that thing out of here down the line and right. Just a little more behind it. And he's circling the bases right now. Still, though, put a really nice swing on it. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. So digging in, Oswald Peraza. And first offering is fouled off. There's a swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Runner at second. Nobody out. And a swing and a miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Good eye right there. Runner at second here, one gone. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. And 
Ahmed. A swing and a line drive at a right field. He dives, but he can't make the catch. The tag at third, and he's out. Well, it's always a risk when you're pushing for third like that. A bang-bang play. He had a chance to make it. Maybe a little better slide around the tag, but a nice job by the defense to cut off that runner. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Come back to the mound. And it gets by him. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Here comes Glaber Torres. One for two. Lifted in the air, right center field. Green going after it. Makes the catch, inning over. Yank strand a pair, and our score remains 2-1. Now it's the right fielder, Riley Green. Struck out swinging his first time. A wind in the pitch. And ball one to the right fielder. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. That's off the mark, and it's 2-1. and one. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Next offering upstairs. A rare three-ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And there's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter did not grab it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Back to the top of the lineup, Akil Badu. Up now for the Tigers, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And downstairs. Nobody out, runner at first. Swing and a miss. And a count even at one. Next offering misses down and away. Now fly ball to right center. Bauer ranging back. He makes the grab and there's one down. And here is Cesar Hernandez. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. That's in there, and it's 0 and 1. The pitch. And that's through there for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. And the 0-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Owen Chu now. And a good eye there. It's a good take. It 
He goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Sko in the box now. No balls and a strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. That one to first. He'll do it himself. Third out, and that ends the frame. One left for Detroit, but they still lead it 2-1. to one. Well, one run game. Here's the third baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. Mize back to work. In for a strike, 1 1. Hard hit, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it was screaming at 108 miles per hour. Kyle Higashioka will hit next. Gets under it and pops it up. One away. Jake Bauer getting ready to hit. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. On the ground could be two. To Hernandez. That's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn. And they're out of this jam. Up now for the Tigers. The catcher. And he deals. And that one off the outside edge. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. Here's a 1-1. Just missed. Next offering is foul back. The why to kick the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And yeah, the count's full. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Out to short, Peraza. The throw to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup got that hitter to roll over. Not so the batter now, Javier Baez. Baez. Baez, a former Gold Glove winner, 30 years old now, and he was born in Puerto Rico. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. 0-2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking... I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Baez started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he held back, according to Ricky Holiday. Tapped softly on the ground. Torres over to first. Two up, two down. You know, that looks routine, but it hasn't been so easy for this club defensively this year. And you've got to make those routine plays behind a pitcher. Helps him to get more comfortable and move through this ballgame. Two outs, base is empty. 
And next up for the Tigers, Matt Veerling. Fastball in for a strike, going one. Just missed. The next pitch misses two and one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Struck him out looking. Stepping in for the Yankees, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. The pitch. That's a little bit low. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Matt Whistler up and throwing. Cisnero getting cranked up as well. The tying run at the plate. That pitch gets the inside corner. And that's strike two. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. On the ground. Throw on to Torkelson. That takes care of Connor Falefa. Oh, well, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. And now the center fielder, Billy McKinney. There's a strike. two now and that one is inside way inside gets out of the way and the righty deals Bows it back with two strikes. Looking to get the tying run on base. Just misses with that one. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Hard hit, right side. Hernandez over to first in time. And that quickly, two away. Up Here's A.J. Hinch heading towards the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change right here. Casey Mize is done. And he leaves with the lead after giving them some decent innings. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a moment. Pitching change here, Will Vest. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Oswald Peraza now at the plate. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Now 
at the belt and fires. Down the line, it's a base hit. And that one's going to get into the corner. Around first, digging for two. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. He was all over that one. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. Man at second here with two away. Aaron Judge at the plate. Base hit center field. Runner around third. He scores to tie it up. It's 2-2. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. And now the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. He's already homered here in this one. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. So two balls and no strikes. Two -oh count. Great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Two -oh. Foul ball. The 2 1. Judge on the run. Pitches low. Throw to second. Ow! And that'll end the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Jonathan Loisica on a pitch out of the pen here. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. The first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. The pitch. That's down and in. Well, these Tigers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. The other way, and it one hops the wall. Bauer throws to second, but he's in there easily. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. And up next for Detroit, Nick Maton. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And that is cut on and missed. That is strike two. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the... And that's a strikeout looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul Ooh. something off, extend that at bat. And next to hit for Detroit, Riley Green. That one finds the zone. It's 0 1. One out. The go ahead run is at second. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Here's the 0 2. To third. Throw on to Rizzo. Got the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Now nice job of the, the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Akil Badu digs in now. Ooh. 
And there's the strike. Two down. Go ahead, run and score in position. Hammer. And this one could be extra bases. Coming around third is Torkelson. He'll score. It's 3-2. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. So two down. Cesar Hernandez up now for the Tigers. One for three. Two outs and one in scoring position. The next offering misses, and the count is one and one. Great take right there. Showed some really good discipline. Breaking ball coming in, you see it well, but don't trust that it's going to hang on for a strike. Nice job. Off the mark there. Two balls and a strike. And he pumps it a strike. And down on strikes he goes. Good job at damage control right there. Tigers grab one on this RBI double. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. A new arm into the game, the righty, Matt Whistler. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Next to hit, Anthony Rizzo. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And that's outside. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. High fly ball down the left field line. That's got a chance. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Glaber Torres stepping in now for the Yankees. Swing and a pop-up. Hernandez moving under this one. Drops into the glove, and there's one down. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Well, a come-and-get-me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. That misses, and now it's even one and one. The one-one is fouled off. One-run game, one out, one on. Next one misses, and that's ball two. So the tying run at second. Fights it off, he'll see another. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Kicks and fires. In the air, left side. Maton makes the catch. And there are two down. The bat, the bat. The bat, the bat. 
Higashioka. And here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. That one lifted to left. And that is that. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Tommy Canely gets handed the rock out of the pen. He last pitched two days ago. Tommy Canely. Jonathan Scope up now for the Tigers. Good contact guy, good defender. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. That misses. And one and one. In the air, foul off first. Scope gone to the play. One down. The catcher, number 13. Now, Eric Haas. Haas. First pitch, just misses. Canely, he's one of those guys that seems like he's out there to do just one thing, and that's strike people out. The 1 0. Ground ball to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. He looks frustrated when a guy puts a ball in play. And that's what you're doing. You're coming in, putting out a fired, high leverage situation. And with his kind of stuff, everyone expects him to strike out hitters. So, two down now. And here is Javier Baez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. When you think about building a bullpen, is strikeout rate one of the main things you're looking at? Absolutely. And when you're talking about working from the back forward, those last three innings are the toughest ones of the ball game. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Tigers are shut down there, but they're up 3-2. Alex Lang into the game. Well, walks have been a big issue for him this year, so I expect these hitters to be patient up there. Well, one run game, and stepping in for the Yankees, Jake Bauer. And a pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. Just missed. The wind of the pitch. And it's fouled away. The 2 2. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a bouncer. On the run, throw to first. Not in time to get him, and the tapper turns into an infield single. A nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw you know yeah no question Isaiah Kiner Falefa will hit next Aaron Boone making a move for a new bat Giancarlo Stanton a runner at first for him nobody out And the pitch is outside, ball one. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Yeah. 
And now it's even up. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next pitch misses. Two and two with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Two two now. Hit hard. That gets through. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. One of the hardest things to do okay. in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity. And he came through for his club right there. So a change being made at first base. On to run for the Yankees, Everson Pereira. And next for New York, Billy McKinney. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Oh, they're applying pressure. Quality at bats, quality swings right now. And see this offense doing it one man to the next. Showing a lot of fight right now. And they're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game. And a sack bunt here. In plenty of time to first. And that's an out on the sacrifice. Now the Here's the Yankees' leadoff hitter, Oswald Peraza. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Foul ball there. Right hander kicks deals. On the ground to the left. Baez. They get the tag on him. On the first, but he beats it. And a run scores. It's Aaron Judge now. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs. Obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. That one's in there. Strike one. Pitch misses. And that's ball one. Tigers bullpen with some action. Matthew Boyd getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Here's a 1-1. On the ground, right side. And that's just foul. Righty delivers. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Well done behind the dish. Move to first. Peraza back in standing. Two down. Good eye right there. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Anthony Rizzo would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. And that is ball four, and the Yankees are in business. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go-ahead run into scoring position, so some pressure pitches coming up in this next A-B. So the Tigers get a new arm from the pen. Matthew Boyd. Bringing in the lefty with a left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. First and second, two outs. Anthony Rizzo, the next to hit. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Lifted in the air down the left side. And it stays fair. 
The run scores from second. It's 4-3. And safely with a double, his second of the day. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Takes an inside pitch and just fillets it over there to left field. And that's all he had to do is get up to the outfield grass to push that run across. Labor Torres up to hit. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. Glaber Torres goes yard. Is 26th of the year. It's 7-3. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Now, here is Oswaldo Cabrera. First offering misses the mark. Boyd, 32 years old, and he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2013. The lefty, the 1 0. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Pulls in with a double, third hit for him today. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come oh, into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. So they turn things over to the righty, Jason Foley. And this is appearance number 45. Kyle Higashioka stepping in now for the Yankees. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. He made him pay for that one. And they tack on to their lead. It's 9-3. And with the six-run lead, there are fans that are starting to head to the exits. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Base is empty with two away. And now, Jake Bauer. Ripped to short. Gathers and throws to first. That's the third out. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 9-3. Now into the game, Everson Pereira. He'll be out in left field. Now playing left field. So digging in, Matt Veerling. Pereira. Canely back to work. There's the strike. In there at the knees. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, Booth. Get back on track. His team needs him. Torkelson, the next to hit, takes ball one. The next pitch misses. Dow 2-0. 
kicks and deals. Pitch misses. Three balls, no strikes. And there's the automatic. The pitch. Swing and a miss. One down, base is empty. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Back there. That one is gone. An absolute blast to left. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 9-4. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. One out, base is empty. Now the left fielder, Nick Maton. In there, and it's 0-1. And that's in for a strike. Battling here as he fouls it away. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. In the air, left field down the line. Tracks it down for the out. Two away down. The right fielder, number 31. Riley Green up now for the Tigers. That one's in there. That's strike one. That's a strike. The 0-2. That one just misses. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Here's a 1-2. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. 114 wins. I mean, that's two seasons for some ball clubs in the big leagues. It takes more than just a big league team to win that many games. It takes a big league organization. Knowing that if someone goes down, a player comes up, helps things to keep on moving down the tracks. And this team has been really incredible, so impressive, and so fun to watch. 9-4, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Our final, final line for tonight. tonight. First, First for the victorious, victorious Yankees, Yankees, nine, nine runs, runs on 18 hits. hits. No errors, they, they left nine, nine runners, runners on base. base. For the, for the Tigers, Tigers, four runs, runs on eight, eight hits. hits. No, no errors, errors, they left they five men on base. Time of the ball.